Good morning, friends. This is our morning routine. So if you are dedicated to flexibility, it's really nice to start your day with something that really wakes up your joints and gets you prepped for a nice, mobile, gooey, bendy day. This is something you can do every morning, right when you wake up. It takes you from literally laying in your bed to standing. And I find that doing this first thing in the morning helps me in my workouts later in the day. I just feel a little bit more prepped to do any kind of mobility work later. All right, so let's do this first thing in the morning. Mm, here we are in bed. Good morning, darling, you look amazing. I, of course, always wake up looking like this. Here we are. And you're gonna just lay on your back in your bed and fluff up your pillow under your head so you're feeling nice and comfy, knees bent, feet flat. And um, if you have really heavy covers, you might wanna take them off, but if it's cold, just leave them on, do the best you can with the covers on. And we're just gonna pick up one knee. Let's start with the right knee and bring it in towards the chest. And it's really important throughout this entire thing to not force anything. So I'm just bringing the knee in and I'm moving it side to side. And if it's out here, who cares? If it's out here, who cares? Just bring it in and say hello to that joint. And I'm gonna kind of move the knee side to side, make some little circles. And I just am saying hello to that hip socket down there, feeling the way that the femur leg bone sits into the hip socket, switch directions on that little circle, supporting it with your hands as much as you need to and just gently moving it around, getting it ready for the day and unstuck from the evening. Once it's starting to feel just a little bit looser, go ahead and snuggle it on into your belly. Take both hands, interlace them on the back of your thigh and give it a nice hug in. Foot is relaxed. From here, you're just gonna straighten your leg just until you say hello to that stretch in the back of your thigh and bend it back in again absolutely zero Fs given for how much of a stretch you're getting, or sorry, <laughs> for how much movement you're getting. It's all about the stretch. It's all about the feeling that you're trying to get in the back of your leg, right? You want to get the feeling here. And if your leg barely moves at all and you start to get that feeling of stretch in the back of your leg, that's all that matters. This is just the way that we wake up our bodies and say hello to them in the morning. We can also make some little circles with the knee and ankle here. So I'm circling through that knee joint because the knee doesn't just bend and straighten. It also has some rotational capacity. So we want to get that ready for the day. Other direction, if any of this stuff hurts or doesn't feel good in your body, don't do it. Just stop. This is not the time for pushing through pain and getting all macho when you just woke up. Now let's stop with the legs slightly extended and we're gonna get some big circles through the feet and ankles. So imagine that you've stuck your foot into a peanut butter jar and you're trying to trace that circle around and get all the peanut butter out with your toes. Let's switch directions. Maybe you get some snap, crackle, pops in your ankle like I'm getting right now. That's always exciting. And after you've done that, a little flex and point. And as you're doing this, you just want to say hello. It's not going for max range of motion. Just a nice little movement. And then scrunch and open your toes here. Saying hello to your toes. Wiggle them around. A little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. And then relax that leg down. Put your hands over the shin again, and again, snug that knee into your side. Now we're gonna take that left leg and slide it away. Now you're starting to get that opening through the front of the left hip here as the right knee comes in even deeper. Take a few breaths here, just feeling that opposition of the right knee coming up and the left foot going away and the opening in the hip and whatever else you might be feeling this morning. And now we're gonna take the left hand onto that right knee and come into just a gentle little twist. And I'm really not thinking about going to maximum twist here. Twisting is something you really wanna warm up gently. So I'm bringing the knee across the body and I'm just lifting and lowering into this. I'm trying to keep my ribs solid on the floor, not let a big arch happen in my back. Feel my waist muscles waking up. 
There might be a little stretch in the outside of that right hip. And as you do it, if it feels painless and easy and available, you can start to go a little bit further. But again, we're not going for maximum here. That is not what you do when you first wake up. Just loosening it up. All right, let's come back to center. We're gonna put that foot flat on the floor, pick up the left knee, and bring it on into the chest. Hello, left knee. Give it a hug, move it around. Let's make some circles with the thigh. Just moving it open and closed. And again, having that relationship, that sensation of the femur sitting in the hip socket and the way that it can move around there. If it feels snap, crackle, poppy, just make these movements a little bit smaller. It's just about starting to lubricate the joint and get it ready to accept our weight when we do eventually, finally, unfortunately, have to step out of bed. All right, bring that knee in again. We're gonna take both hands, interlace them on the back of that left thigh, and let's start to straighten the knee and bend the knee back in. And again, we're just going for a gentle hello to the hamstrings. Not a deep stretch, not maximum range of motion, just going up to where you start to feel the stretch and then going away again. Getting that knee ready to work, you might be able to feel a little bit of work in the knee socket itself. We're gonna get some circles going here in the knee. So I'm trying to not let the thigh move too much. So it's more of an oval, really, than a circle. Let's switch directions. Feeling that knee joint do a little bit of work. Again, if there's any pain in the knee joint here, if it feels bad, just stop. Just go back to the straightening and bending without the rotation. And let's go ahead and extend that leg out. And we're going to start to make big circles now just with the ankle. So we're trying to hold the rest of the leg as still as possible. Perfection is in no way necessary here. And really scoop out the inside of that peanut butter jar with your left foot. And let's go the other direction. And again, might be some snap crackle pops here, might be some nice little body percussion noises. And let's flex and point. And just see if you can feel all of those muscles in your ankles, your feet, your calves and your shins and say good morning to them. See how they feel. And now let's use just the toes, wiggling those toes, flex and point the toes, wiggle them around, spread them out so that we're waking up all of the muscles of the lower body. All right, now bend that knee back down, hands back onto the shin and slide that right leg away from you. Reach it out nice and long. Think about reaching your toe out towards the end of your bed as your left knee comes up towards your chin. And we just take a couple breaths here, feeling that opening through the hip, depending on how your sleep, your hips might be kind of tight when you first wake up in the morning. And from here, the right hand goes onto the left shin, and we're gonna start to work those little twists. So I'm bringing my hip up and over, just a little bit at a time, gradually going further, feeling that twist through the spine, but I'm really trying to keep this left side of my rib cage down on the floor. Maybe there's gonna be a little bit of a stretch in the outside of the hip, maybe in the lower back. Just feeling that little bit of release in the back. Let's do one more. And come back to center. And now put that foot flat on the floor and bring the other foot back to join it. Ah, hips nice and heavy. And we're gonna reach both arms straight up towards the ceiling. Reach nice and far. And we're gonna tuck the pelvis under pressing the heels down into the bed. If you have a super squishy bed, you're gonna to wanna to keep this really small. We don't wanna come up really high if the ankles are all unstable. What's more important is that you can feel that the ribs drop down as you reach up on the exhale. And then on the inhale, we're gonna go the other direction and press your shoulders and your butt down and lift up the middle of the back. 
So again, this is the exhale. The exhale, I'm reaching forward, ribs drop down, tailbone lifts up, and I'm just getting my spine moving here. Inhale, big breath in, fill up that rib cage, and exhale all the way out. So some nice deep breathing to help you wake up. If you really need help waking up, if you're feeling groggy, you can do this a little faster. Inhale and exhale back and forth a few times. That deep breathing will just help energize your body and get you ready for the day. Let's do two more. And last inhale and exhale. And we're just going to hold here reaching both arms up towards the ceiling and both knees up towards the ceiling, gently pulling your heels towards your butt, dropping your ribs heavy down into the bed. Let your head and neck still be really relaxed on that pillow and ah, relax it down, shake it out. All right, this is a big moment. We're gonna come to sitting on the edge of the bed. So just go as slow as you need to, take your time, especially if you just did all that breathing, you might be a little lightheaded and swing your legs off the edge of the bed. All right, you've managed to get upright. Maybe you're sitting on the edge of your bed. If your bed is very high or very low, you might wanna actually venture out and find a chair. So just let your butt be nice and heavy. Don't worry about life too much, feet flat on the floor. And we're gonna pick up that left leg, figure four across the right leg. So the ankle's right on the thigh, not on the knee, but on the thigh. And we're just gonna do some little pulses, squeezing the butt and bringing that left knee down towards the floor. And we're waking up our butt muscles and getting a little bit more life and lubrication into the hip here. And if you want, while you do this, you can just kind of lean forward a little bit just until you feel the very beginnings of that stretch through your left glutes. Just saying hello to that stretch. Do not have to go far, right? Just a little hello and breathe good and now we're going to hold that knee down a little lift and lower of the foot that's on the ground so i'm just lifting and lowering my heel and now i'm waking up my right calf and still getting a little bonus stretch on the left side because i love multitasking even first thing in the morning gotta be efficient and then come on back up and now we're going to bring that left knee in towards our chest, grab it with our right arm and get a little bit of a twist to the left. Playing that, again, a little nice stretch through the outside of the left hip, a little twist in the spine. This is not your maximum twist. I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over again. This is not your deepest thing that you can do. This is just a little hello, a little rocking back and forth in it. A couple breaths here, checking in with that neck. We wanna make sure it's relaxed and then release it down. And now we're gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna push that left knee down, right hand goes on the bed or chair next to you and left hand's gonna go up and over into a little side bend. A little tiny little side bend, just nice little friendly little side bend. Big breath into the left side of the ribs and, and reach out nice and long with that left hand and back up and that's it. Let's do the other side. Uncross the left leg, cross the right leg. And go ahead and hold on to that ankle if it's helpful for you and pulse that right knee down towards the floor. Hello, right butt muscles. Maybe it feels tight through your left hip. Just say hi to it, just notice it. All we're doing is getting our body ready for the day. If you wanna do a serious stretch session later in the day, this is a great prep so that when you get to that stress session, you're a little bit more awake and alive for it. Or maybe it's just to get your body ready for whatever other things that you have planned for today. We can keep doing this as we start to lean forward. Little stretch in that right butt. Hello, right butt. And a few more pulses down towards the floor, reaching out long through the top of the head so we're trying to not collapse down into the spine at this point. Good for three, two, one, and now we're gonna lift and lower your heel. So we're working into that left calf and just waking up those calf muscles. Really wanna get our feet ready for standing on them um, and have them feel nice and awake. Feel your toes on the floor. Good, 
two and one and we're gonna come on up take that right knee pull it into your chest grab it with your left arm and we're twisting to the right and feeling that stretch through the outside of the right hip sit up as tall as you can if you want you can put this right hand kind of down behind you again not maximum twist gentle gentle morning hello twist little rocking around couple of breaths might feel a stretch through the hip you might feel a little in your spine and your waist all of those things are good neck is relaxed and then come on back down drop that knee down press it down towards the floor hand goes on the bed or chair next to you right arm up and over we're going to go the other direction and make sure that your neck is relaxed your shoulders down so we don't want that kind of thing only go as far as you can go from the waist muscles not using the neck and shoulders so much to bring you deeper and when you breathe in breathe into the left or sorry the right side of your rib cage so think about the right side of your rib cage reaching up towards the ceiling reach out long with that right arm big breath in starting to feel that shoulder area warm up and back up to center all right uncross that puppy and we're gonna get into the upper body a little bit. So sitting up nice and tall, feet solid on the floor. We're gonna reach both arms out, fingers reaching out as wide as you can. Externally rotate the shoulders and we're just gonna lift the arms up over your head like you're reaching for the ceiling and bring them back down. Let's do a couple more of those. <sighs> Again, make sure there isn't a lot of tension in your neck as you're doing this. If your shoulders hurt, maybe don't bring the arms up all the way. This is really just a gentle hello for the shoulder joint. Feeling those arms wake up. Let's do two more. If you're shooting rainbows out of your fingertips, you want those rainbows to be as big as possible. And on this next one, both arms come up towards the ceiling and we're going to interlace the hands and then bring them into a nice little basket in the back of the head and just nestle your head and your hands together. And I'm gently pressing my head and my hands together and you should feel the muscles of your neck and upper back work. And we're going to do some little pulses with the elbows. So now I'm waking up my upper back. I'm trying to get into a nice elevated long neck posture. Feel my back muscles working and awake. Maybe work out some of the kinks in the neck that we got during the night. And then stop with those elbows back and lift the chest to the ceiling. Big breath in. Expand that rib cage and exhale. And let's inhale again. Big breath in and exhale. Keep the elbows wide the whole time. Gentle pressure of the head in the hands together. So I'm not really letting my chin drop towards my chest as I come down. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And release the arms. Shake out the head and neck. Hopefully it feels like your head is a little bit more attached to your body. All right, before we stand up, we got one more. We gotta wake up our wrists. So extend your arms out in front of you like a morning zombie. And let's get a little bit of flap into those wrists. Again, gentle, just saying hello. And then go ahead and flip it over. A little flappy's going the other direction. Just getting out the snap crackle pops in the wrists and then big circles with the wrists. One direction and the other direction. So now our hands are ready for grabbing whatever's in front of them. And then we're just going to open and close the hands really fast for three, two, one. All right. Our limbs are pretty awake. I think it's time to stand up. Let's do it. We're going to stand up and we're going to finish this standing. Ah, the big moment. We've arrived at standing. The day has officially started. Let's put the feet hip width apart. And just start by shifting your weight back and forth and kind of feeling your weight sinking down into your feet. And just notice what's going on with your feet. And we want to start then pedaling through the feet. So we're lifting up the ball of a foot and then the heel and then alternating ball, heel. Just to feel how the feet move and how they take your weight on the floor. 
And since we walk around on our feet all day, and oftentimes we're having them stuffed into shoes, and sometimes, let's be honest, not the most practical or comfortable shoes, we really want to take care of them at the beginning of the day so they feel solid and can serve us for the rest of the day. Now let's, with both knees bent, just little lift and lower of the heels. And I'm gonna keep mine really small because of my recent foot surgery, but if you wanna come up a little higher and that feels comfortable to you, go for it. The important thing is that you feel nice and stable, your toes are spread out on the floor, and your feet are taking your weight nicely. Let's do three, two, one, and relax it down. Let's put the feet a little wider now, hands on the hips, and we're gonna get into some hip circles. So I love these just for feeling the way that your weight sits in your feet, the way that your hips move, the way that your spine moves, and saying hello to all of those little bits. So keeping them nice and gentle, we're gonna circle one more time around, and then we're gonna stop with the hips out to the left and get a little bit of a side bend and think about a nice long line from your left heel to your left hip to your left shoulder with the ribs lifting up towards the ceiling. If this feels pretty comfortable, you can start to bring your arms out, maybe to airplane, maybe up overhead. And we're just gonna get nice long stretch up that left side of the body. Again, not going super deep, but just feeling it meaningful, a hello, a good morning to that side of the body. And coming back up to center and we're gonna switch directions on the hips. So now going to the left. And notice if it feels a little different, maybe it needs a little bit more attention. Oftentimes left is harder for the majority of us. So just notice if that's true. And we're gonna circle around one more time, stop with the hips out to the right and push that right foot down into the floor. Feel that long line up the right side of the body. Breathe into that right side rib, get that nice stretch. And you're totally fine to keep your hands here on your hips. If you want to feel a little bit more intense, you can bring arms out to airplane or even overhead, which is gonna be even more intense. So only do this if it feels nice and yummy, like and comfortable and good. And a couple breaths here, feeling that reach with the right hand. Nice long line, big breath in and exhale out and back up to center. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, one more thing for our shoulders and neck, arms dangling by our sides, and we're gonna inhale the arms up over the head and exhale, bring them back behind us. We can even get a little movement of the spine here. Inhale, little arch of the back, it's like a nice good morning stretch, and exhale. Let the chest drop down, reach those arms back behind you, feeling the back muscles. Let's do two more. And exhale, feet are nice and heavy on the floor. Last one. And bring those arms back behind you. Now we're not gonna go into the back arch for this one. We're just gonna lift those arms up, reaching the fingers as far back behind you as you can, squeezing those back muscles and turn the head side to side. Really trying to wake up those neck muscles you may be able to feel some of the crunchiness that developed during the night. We just want to gently loosen that up. Let's do one more right and left and come back to center and let it all go. All right, last thing, and then you're ready to take on your day. Feet a little wider again, soften the knees, and we're just gonna roll down. Now, if this doesn't feel good for your body, if this isn't something that's in your regular practice, go ahead and just skip this part. But if you like to do a roll down, this can be a really nice way to decompress our spines before we even start the day. And it does not have to be, oh, I'm going to my absolute maximum. I'm gonna push this as deep as I can. I'm just feeling that my tailbone is lifting up towards the ceiling. The top of my head is coming down towards the floor. If you don't get your hands all the way into the floor, you can put them on your shins or on your thighs to support your weight a little. We're going to shift our weight back and forth here. Just let the body relax. I like to imagine that my upper body is like an elephant's trunk and I'm looking for a peanut on the floor, switching back and forth. 
Then we can bend the knees even more, drop the hands to the floor. And again, you can feel free to skip this part if your knees or hips hate this. We're gonna try to drop it down to a full squat here, bringing the chest up, little rock side to side, pushing the knees slightly out to the side and keeping the hands on the floor, straighten your knees as much as you can. Then lift the hands up to the shins and then up to the thighs. And we're gonna use those abs to roll all the way up. <sighs> all right, I feel ready to start my day. Do you feel ready to start your day? Let's take on that world. Feel free to bookmark this and come back to it as often as you like. Wake up with me in bed next to you and we'll get the day started together in a beautiful way. Please subscribe for more wonderful tidbits about mobility and flexibility and beautiful friends as always and forever. Happy bendings.